What's up, come popsicles? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm on Forza Horizon 5 and I'm going to be driving like Henry Ruggs III, drinking and driving and trying to commit manslaughter like it's going out of style. I try to make my character look like Henry, but there really isn't much customization in the character build. I was able to make him crippled because last I saw he was in a wheelchair. And I also have the option to make him a they them, so why the fuck not? You better use the correct pronouns in the comment section or I'm gonna rear end you at 150 miles per hour. But we get into the story mode and blah, blah, blah. We talk to some Biden voters and then they give me the keys to any of these three cars I want and this is an easy pick for me we're gonna go with the C8 Corvette the same car Henry used to own and we also get to customize the license plate here we're gonna go with DUI for life and I'm supposed to be heading over to some race that I really don't care about so we're gonna take on some side missions in the meantime like destroying this car and destroying families I get the keys to my car and I immediately try running into people I tried going through a few different barricades but I was not able to turn this into a Wisconsin parade it seems like the most damage I can do is to other cars and my own vehicle by getting into head-on collisions with them and all the characters in this game are having the time of their life even though I'm trying to murder them right before their eyes but I do find this one little couple that's in a small little triangle looks like they're going through a rough patch I mean that guy is standing next to a bunch of explosive barrels I think running into him in those barrels would be doing him a favor at this point girl still dresses like she's in one of the early Fast and Furious movies but I decided to leave this area so I can get into some higher speed crashes and just explore the environment in general I was climbing Mount Chiliad and I lost my license plate here. I guess I'm gonna have to sober up now. It was pretty fun to fall down this mountain. I was going about 100 plus miles per hour just being an absolute tank. This car can just take down everything in its path. I also found this little lake which my Corvette can just go right through and as long as I have my windshield wipers on everything is fine. You can come to a complete stop. The engine's pretty much submerged and you can just keep on going. I flipped my car here for the first time. I was just flying down this mountain. I think I was going about 180 miles per hour. It was kind of nice with it dodging the trees and then I just run head on into a pretty thick tree flipping my car in the process but after this I discovered my favorite part of this game there are civilian cars in this game and now it's time to really do some damage I t-boned this car going about 100 miles per hour I knocked him off the road and I thought his car was broken for a bit man now, man now, but he took it like a champ got right back up this guy's putting his life on the line just so he can go biking I ran into this truck going 100 miles per hour and it did a couple of spins but I think I would have done more damage to my own car in this but from here I was just targeting civilian cars and leaving the supercars out of it. it seems like you can rag all the civilians a lot more than the normal cars my goal here was to rear end somebody going over 150 miles per hour but it was kind of difficult because I couldn't find a straightaway long enough for my car which is now completely damaged I drove into the ocean just to see if it will repair my car but it did not I hit this blue car here pretty good but I ended up doing more damage to my own car because I wasn't paying attention and I drove off a cliff flipped my car a little bit I drove a few more people off the road and I probably did as much damage to my car as possible I think there is limits to how much you can mess up your car in this game. And if I can't hurt people in this game, I'm going to hurt the things these people enjoy. So I just demolished this resort as much as I could. I ran into this guy in his little house slash business thing that's going on. There's two people inside and I'm very close to hitting them. I was trying to just run the furniture into him and see what would happen. I didn't have much luck, so I decided I'm just going to destroy his little ice cream stand he has out in front. And I did a burnout in front of him on the way out, so he's going to need to change those clothes soon. I thought this was pretty cool. I bunny hopped the car. But eventually I did show up to the race that I was supposed to be heading to in the first place. I took out one more person on my way in and people are still cheering for me. I feel like Caitlyn Jenner. Buckle up, buckaroo! This race wasn't very exciting. I had to use a different car and I was driving next to these bikes and I tried taking them out twice, but it ended up just doing more damage to me than the actual bikers. But now I've got a brand new Corvette. I was able to get up to about 170 miles per hour here and this guy just ricochets off of me. But this right here was perfect. I was going about 155 miles per hour and I rear-ended a civilian car off the road. These cars set on fire because I ran into them that fast. I'm just going to blame it on the manufacturer. And I was heading towards another race and I decided to try to park my car inside somebody's house but everybody just has the most powerful walls in existence and for this race I had the option of buying a car so I decided to buy the absolute biggest shit box in the game that I could find I went with the MR2 SC 1989 Toyota if you have this car I'm sorry but it is the shittiest car in this game at least it's in this game but its stats are absolutely terrible I was also able to customize this vehicle so I just dripped it out hard as fuck 
tanner style. We're going with a Midwestern woods camouflage. I think the real crime here is not the manslaughter, but the building of this car. And am I about to take this race serious? Absolutely not. I'm going to go full Ray Charles and drive the opposite way and run into people. On my first collision, I was coming around this corner. I had no control of the car, but I was still able to cause a five car pile up. I am a little upset the last car took off my license plate. These collisions were pretty solid and I was trying to trap this guy into just being my bitch and having to stay here with me but somebody ran into me and saved him. This car t-boned me while I was drifting and it was almost like the game was trying to force me to go the correct way. But I didn't give up. I was able to stop this gray car in its tracks. He hit me twice and then he just lost his will to live and he was just gonna sit here with me as long as I felt like it. The rest of the cars ended up lapping us twice before I had the thought of just driving him back as far as I could and I was able to push him back to the speed of 12 miles per hour hour all seven of my horsepower is really kicking in right now but he even had the option to leave and he just stayed with me so i, I think i broke him or murdered him i'm not sure but Either way, I see this as a great success. But while I was winding up to hit him, he ended up just spawning over to the left a bit, and I guess his car was repaired or something like that. But I just found another car to get T-boned by. I definitely would have been killed at this point. These maniacs just witnessed this, and they are cheering more than ever. I was able to wind up and hit him once, but after that, he just disappeared. So I just became sidetracked. I was venturing off. I found this guy who's facing the wrong way, even though he's 500 feet away from the track. He's frantically cheering towards the ground. I'm guessing this guy is on PCP cheering for an ant race or something like that but eventually i found the boundary and they returned me to the race so from here i just decided to finish the race which was not an easy task my car was a piece of shit to begin with but it's now demolished it was hard to just drive in a straight line and i'm far from a pro at this game but every turn i was trying to make i just ended up spinning out and there wasn't much i could do about it but i ended up taking my shit box across the finish line in last place in just under 30 minutes everybody finished in about five minutes or so except one of the toyotas that i was just holding on to he took about 10 minutes to do it and toast farts wins that is a pretty solid name i don't even know who that is but i think i have them added but that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed go fuck yourself and i will see you in the next one